In some people with myasthenia gravis, uh, they present only with ptosis or droopiness of the eyelid. As a result, uh, a simple test you can do in the accident emergency department or indeed in the um, outpatient department is a thing called the ICE test, which isn't uh, too hard to work out. In essence, you stress the ptosis, if you like, make it as bad as possible by fatiguing the muscle. Then you, once you see the ptosis at its maximum uh, droopiness, you ask the patient to apply simply a cube of ice to their eyelid for between one and two minutes. And analogous to a tensilon test, we hope that the eyelid will spring open. And then there's really no need for any other tests. We know it's myasthenia gravis and we can continue with the treatment either acutely with immunoglobulin and steroid or more long term with uh, other types of immunosuppression. While the tensilon test, if it works, is definitive, the ice test is clearly less invasive. Why the ice test works to improve ptosis isn't entirely uh, clear. Uh, it is suspected that perhaps the eyelid is a, a very much overused muscle or a frequently used muscle and by cooling it down you might be reducing its metabolic rate and thus reducing the amount of acetylcholine required and thus reversing uh, the block given by the uh, anti-acetylcholine receptor or anti musk antibody is one theory. But I don't think, as far as I'm aware, it's not clearly known. Okay, do you want to take it off then? Look at my finger here. So after the ice test, you can see the instant response and you can say to the patient they almost certainly have myasthenia. Keep looking at me just sorry, I won't get lectured about it. It's great. This is just cold water, isn't it? Yeah, probably, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs>